Shabbat Shalom, family, Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother, Shaul Yisrael. Come back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of 1 John, chapter 3, starting at verse 4. 1 John, chapter 3, starting at verse 4, and I read. Whosoever commits sin, whosoever commits sin, or whosoever practices sin, or whosoever is a practitioner of sin, transgresses also the law. But sin is the transgression of the law. I read that to say this. Concerning sin, there are, are two distinct levels of sin. Concerning sin or transgression of the law, the two distinct levels of sin. The first level are those who stumble in sin. When one stumbles into sin, it is a direct result of that person's immaturity and or a lack of understanding of the ways of Yahweh. When one is converted into a disciple of our Yahweh and of his beloved son Yeshua HaMashiach, one is a babe. One who had not mastered the ways of Yahweh. Who have not yet learned how to walk with Yahweh. Where one would be able to discern between good and evil. That's one who has stumbled into sin. Then there is the second level of sin. Those who are practitioners of sin. Those who are practitioners of sin. Are those who habitually sin those who make it a habit to transgress Yahweh's word and law and way are those who are the wicked, are those who are iniquitous. See, when one makes sin, transgression of the law, a habit, a lifestyle, it becomes their nature to transgress Yahweh's word, then they are wicked. They are by nature an enemy of Yahweh. So it is highly serious for those who are practitioners of sin to be in danger of damnation because when you make sin a habit a pattern and practice then it signifies that you know not Yahweh and it's been in <clears throat> verse John chapter 3 and verse 8 he that, he that commits sin he that commits sin is of the devil for the devil sins from the beginning. For this purpose the sons of Elohim was revealed. They might show the works of the devil. Because the purpose of Yeshua HaMashiach giving of his life on the cross and being buried for three days and three nights and being raised again by Yahweh to an exalted state was for the purpose to reconcile us back unto Yahweh to give us a renewed nature and a renewed spirit that we may be a practitioner of righteousness that we may fully adorn the character and the nature and the spirit of our Yahweh So, in the renewed man, 
and those who become mature in the renewed man through the new birth, according to Acts 38. There should, should be a lessening and elimination of the pra practition of sin, the habit of sin. For that cause, in the, the renewed man, we should not practice sin. Because those who practice sin are those who are the wicked. Those who know not Yahweh. So remember, there are two levels of sin. There are those who stumble in sin because of their lack of understanding that leads to an inability to apply the ways of Yahweh to their life. So, and then there's the second level. Those who practice sin, those who make sin a habit, a lifestyle, and that's the wicked. So, keep in mind, my beloved brethren, not to practice sin. If you have been converted unto Yahweh and have learned the ways of Yahweh, have obtained an ability to apply the ways of Yahweh to your character and your life, you should not be practicing sin. But if you're practicing sin, it signifies that you know not Yahweh. If you don't know Yahweh, you are the wicked. You are the offspring of the wicked one, Satan. For Satan or Hillel or Lucifer, he is by nature and by spirit a habitual sinner, a practitioner of sin. He is barred from redemption. And those who live as the one who is barred from redemption, Satan, are his offspring in spirit, in their character and their in behavior. So if you stumble in sin, it shows that you lack understanding. It shows that you lack an ability to apply the way to be always into yourself. It shows that you're immature. But those who practice sin, who are a practitioner of sin, it shows that they're not just immature, but they have become rooted and grounded in transgression of Yahweh's law. That signifies they had not been reconciled to Yahweh that signifies that they had not been establishing Yahweh, and that signifies that they have not his spirit. So, my beloved brethren, do not be a practitioner of sin. Because if you're a practitioner of sin, you know not Yahweh. You're not serving Yahweh. And you're presently on the road of eternal damnation. I beseech all my beloved brethren to continue to seek Yahweh and his righteousness that you may come to know more and more of Yahweh. That the life of Yahweh may be more and more expressed in you. I pray that you like, share, subscribe, the cash app, PayPal will be in the description. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, call, uh, um, call me 919-308-2495. Again, 919-308-2495. Again, call me 919-308-2495. Shabbat Shalom. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, so be it, so be it. Shalom.